guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video as you guys can see i've changed my background yet again because honestly i just feel like where i have my ring light set up in my room to film i don't really like how it makes my videos look sometimes i feel like it's not true to color so i decided to change my background one more time and here i am with my vanity lights which honestly I feel like my vanity lights do an amazing job lighting up my face for my videos you can really see the true colors of the makeup that I'm using so anyways that's why my background is the way that it is right now and so I can figure something else out so today I am going to be doing yet again another three looks using three different palettes so as you guys saw my last video on Michelle Miss was three different looks using three different ColourPop eyeshadow palettes for Christmas and of course you can wear those looks whenever you want they just were I guess you could say Christmas typical appropriate whatever you want to call it makeup looks so uh, I decided I wanted to do that same exact concept but using three different Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palettes mostly because I was looking to see what a lot of people got for Christmas I wanted to do three different looks using three different eyeshadow palettes that I saw that were really popular Christmas gifts this year and these are actually the three newest Anastasia eyeshadow palettes that I believe all came out this year if I'm not mistaken I think soft glam came out in the beginning of the year and then the Norvina palette came out I want to say like around summertime and then the sultry eyeshadow palette which is probably the prettiest by far in packaging came out for holidays so I'm gonna be doing three different New Year's Eve makeup looks with these three different eyeshadow palettes which I'm sure you guys probably guessed I was gonna be doing that because I have my bake on and I only have my foundation on first whenever I'm gonna do something like this so I'm gonna be doing three different looks that I think will be perfect for New Year's Eve I'm gonna be doing a more like goldeny type of eyeshadow look with the soft glam palette which looks like this and then I'm going to be doing a more like pinky vibe like rose goldish type of eyeshadow look with the Norvina palette which looks like this and then I'm gonna be doing a very dramatic cool tone eye with this soul tree palette which looks like this same disclaimer as in my last three looks using three different eyeshadow palettes you do not need to own all three of these eyeshadow palettes to recreate any of these looks honestly there are so many dupes for these eyeshadow palettes it's not even funny i actually have two dupes right here from wet n wild these are both five dollars each these are the new wet n wild eyeshadow palettes that just came out and they are very similar to the soft glam and the norvina eyeshadow palette and they also have other ones too as well and i am going to be doing battle of the palettes with these eyeshadows and i'm also and probably just going to be doing like a little review on all four of the eyeshadow palettes but that's probably going to be a next year video so stay on the lookout for that just because these eyeshadow palettes i know just recently came out and they're just now starting to roll out onto the market and a lot of people have haven't been able to get their hands on them but i do believe they are available on the wet and wild website if you cannot find them at your local walgreens or whatever drugstore it is that your state has anyways enough of me blabbering on we're gonna jump right into this look so if you guys want to learn how to do three different looks using three different eyeshadow palettes from Anastasia Beverly Hills then just continue watching so we're gonna start off with the soft glam palette which looks like this and we're gonna start off with a shade called orange soda and I'm taking the on a Morphe M533 brush and this shade on me personally doesn't look like anything but it's just our transition and then I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade rustic and I'm taking that on this Jaclyn Hill brush I forget the name of it but it's from her brush set and then I'm taking the fluffy brush out of her Jaclyn Hill Morphe brush set and just blending those two together then I'm taking the shade Sienna with this flat um, tapered pointed blending brush and putting that on the outer corner as well as into the crease but I'm mostly focusing it on the outer corner of my eye kind of doing like a soft wing shape and then blending the rest into the crease then I'm taking my favorite Bogeshi blending brush and I'm just going to go ahead and blend everything together and this brush is always clean then I'm taking this Jaclyn Hill flat shader brush which I have been obsessed with this brush I'm taking the shade bronze and you just need a little bit of it and then I'm just spraying some setting spray just to make it nice and metallic and putting that onto my eyelid and um you can build up the intensity here and as 
go ahead and blend it in with that taper brush from earlier and just make sure that the crease is nice and blended as well and I always use soft strokes with that and then I'm taking a little bit of the fairy shade and putting a little tiny bit of it on the inner part of my eye and then I'm gonna go ahead and take this LA girl glide on um, eyeliner and then I'm gonna go ahead and take some loose powder and just go ahead and clean up my outer corner of my eye just to make it nice and crisp. Taking some wing eyeliner, I like putting the setting powder on the outer corner of my eye just to kind of create a guide for the wing eyeliner. And I always start on the outer part of my eyeliner first. And then I go ahead and do the line and then make the line go blend in with the line on my eyelid if that makes sense you can really see what I'm doing more than me explaining it but um, take your time whenever you're doing your wing eyeliner you don't want to rush this and this is the Ciate fierce flick eyeliner this is more of a matte one and then I'm just gonna go ahead and take some of the noir shade and take this little tiny morphe eyeliner brush and put it right on top just to make the eyeliner a little bit softer then I'm taking the rustic shade again with this um, flat eyeliner brush. I know you can't really see what I'm doing, but ba basically I'm just putting it on my lower lash line. And then I'm taking some of the ultra glitter tears. You can take any glitter eyeliner that you want and just putting that right on top of the gold. Then blending out that lower lash line and then taking the glistening shade and putting that in my inner corner as my highlight. And then I'm just making sure that that inner corner blends in with everything else. And then I'm taking the Grande Mascara and this is the finished eye look. Then I'm taking Honeymoon and Caught Liquid Lipstick and Freebird Lip Gloss from Morphe. And this is the first finished look. And I really like this look because it's very soft and simple but yet the glitter just adds a little bit of that glam to the whole entire look. So then for the second look, we're going to go ahead and take the Norvina eyeshadow palette, which is more of a purpley pink eyeshadow palette. I'm taking the love shade with this Jaclyn Hill brush, and you want to make sure that you tap off the excess because this these shades are a little bit powdery, but they are very, very pigmented. So then I'm taking the volatile shade and I'm taking this pointed taper brush and mostly focusing that into the crease and a little bit on the outer corner as well just to deepen things up then I'm taking this taper brush and taking the shade passion putting that in the outer corner and then I decided last minute that I'm going to go ahead and put a little tiny bit in the inner corner to create a soft halo effect and then I'm taking the rose gold shade with that flat shader brush from the Jaclyn Hill set wetting that and putting that into the center of the eyelid And then I'm going back in with the passion shade and just really building it up in the outer corner. And I'm creating a soft wing type of shape with this too. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Wild Child and put that more in the inner part of my eyelid. Um, kind of covering up that dark color that we put on top there and just building up the intensity of that pinky shade then I'm taking this glitter tear from Ulta these are the new ones that just came out and putting a little bit of that in the inner corner of the eye and just blending that lightly in with the rose gold shade and then what I decided to do was take the liner and make like a small little line from the inner corner of my eye kind of like a cut lid type of look on top just to add some dimension then I'm taking the base shade and putting that onto my brow bone And then I'm taking these lashes from Kiss. They're in the shade, the style Shy, which are one of my favorites. Then taking the Passion shade, and you can really see me putting that onto my lower lash line. I just kind of brush that on, and then take a pointed taper brush and just blend that out. Then I'm taking the Dreamer shade and putting that in my inner corner to help brighten everything up. And then I'm taking the Galactic Demure liquid lipstick and this is the second finished look and then for the third and final look we're gonna take the so true palette from the Anastasia collection and this is the newest one that just came out I'm taking the birch shade and putting that into my crease with that Jaclyn Hill crease brush and then I'm taking this Morphe 
um, pointed taper brush in the shade twig which is a pretty cool tone taupe color and applying that into the outer corner and I'm creating like kind of a cat eye shape then I'm taking dystopian and I'm putting that onto the outer crease and I'm going to create kind of a cat eye shape on the outer corner and this is just going to help to blend in the black that we're going to put on top to really make it nice and smoky and dramatic so you can see here that i'm creating a cat type sh cat like shape so i'm going from the um outer corner of my lashes or my eyeliner where i would put my eyeliner usually and just kind of creating a line there and then blending that in towards my crease to create that nice pointed v and then I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Noir and I started putting that on my lower lash line and kind of flicking it out like as if I was doing a cat liner. But then I decided to take some of the um, loose setting powder and this Morphe brush and just um, creating that guide kind of like how I would do with my liquid liner. And this made it a lot easier for me to create that cat like shape. So you can see from that line that we created then I just take the black and just really focus that into the crease and do really short strokes to blend that in towards the eyelid. And really take your time with this, build it up as much as you need to. I think it took me like probably five minutes to build this up to be honest. And then I'm just blending everything out really softly and you can see the difference. And then I'm taking that bloom shade and I'm putting that into the center of the eyelid and blending that in towards the black shade and this is just to add a little pop of color to the look and then I'm taking the black and building that up again and I just kind of went back and forth between both I took my finger with the bloom shade until I got the intensity I wanted then taking the shade cyborg and this shade was so pigmented I didn't even have to wet the brush that I used put that mostly on the inner part of my eye and blended it towards the pink and as you see as I get towards the pink I do really short strokes then I'm taking the Ulta glitter tears and this is the new one that came out as well and this is more of a silvery shade and just putting that mostly in the inner corner trying not to go too far into the eyelid shape eyelid shade just so that way I could blend everything out and here I'm just blending it with very short strokes towards the pink and then blending the black outwards towards the outer corner then I'm just blending everything together very lightly taking some black eyeliner and these elf lashes and this is the finished eye look. And then we're going to take Dystopian again and put that on the lower lash line. And I really, really built this up on my lower lash line because I wanted it to be nice and smoky. So I just kept um, placing that in until I got the intensity that I wanted. And I did line my eyes with some black eyeliner. I just forgot to show it. And then I took the twig shade from earlier and just blended that out. Made it nice and smoky. And then I just took that crease brush and just blended everything together. Then I'm taking the pearl shade and putting that into my inner corner. And I really built it up just because I really wanted it to pop. And then I'm taking that pearl shade again with this little tiny highlighting brush and putting that just a little tiny bit under my lower lash or my underneath my eyebrows. And then taking the shade exposed from Tarte. And this is the third and final look. And I think out of all three of them, this one was probably my favorite that I could not stop staring at. So definitely let me know in the comment section what kind of looks you guys want to see for next year. What kind of looks are you guys going to be rocking? And um, I will see you guys in the next video. Until then.